Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Adam Snyder here, the homie entrepreneur. Today, I just want to talk about Kindle publishing. Um, a lot, I've been getting a lot of people asking me, you know, how do they publish an ebook? Is it that difficult? Can they just upload a, a Word file? Um, do they have to have a, a good cover? You know, things like that. Um, the first thing I tell them is yes, your cover, um, your cover and your title are highly important. If you don't have a good cover, people probably won't look at the book if you don't have a good title um, that has uh, different keywords in it well, it's optimized things like that then the chances of somebody actually finding your book are pretty slim so I highly recommend good cover um, there are people out there that you can hire like I said you can go on Fiverr and you can hire people for five bucks they'll create a nice cover for you I've done it in the past um, you know I have other people that do it now um, so I don't use people on Fiverr anymore, but I used to, and it worked great. As far as the keyword research, there's people out there that you can hire that will actually do all the keyword research for you. Um, are they worth it? A lot of them are. Some aren't. Some don't understand keyword research. Some don't understand uh, what a long tail keyword is, um, what a highly competitive keyword is. So, uh, if you're trying to break into uh, you know a different category or a new niche, and you want to target um, you know, six pack abs or something, chance of you getting that on Amazon are slim, chance of you getting that on Google are uh, slim to none. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Now, as far as the formatting of your Kindle ebook, uh, I've done, I've done, um, I've done a lot of different ones. I've created some and had other people create some that uh, were formatted. They had an introduction, they had different chapters, everything like that. And they were great. I also done some that put it in a Word file, um, published it on Amazon, and uh, did that whole route. And they did the same thing. It was kind of uh, just your preference. Now, do ones that have all the formatting, um, you know, the introduction, the different chapters, different subheadings, all that, and where you can actually go into the the beginning of your ebook and the reader could actually click on different sections maybe they don't want to go back to the very first section every time maybe they only got through half of your ebook so they can go to that section and start from there you know if that's the case you need to have it formatted you know some readers like that I like it um, so now that's pretty much all I do is I just do ebooks that are formatted and it looks a little bit better um, I usually get better reviews on the ebook um, and uh, yeah, so it usually translates to more sales, more sales, more you know free, um, the the the, call, the Kindle Unlimited, uh, that whole thing, that lending library. Um, so, do I recommend uh, having your eBooks formatted? Yes, I do. Um, it does take time to learn it. There is a there is a software out there that uh, I use and I let all my employees use. Um, pretty much make them use it teach them how to use it stuff like that um, the learning process behind it is very little um, it's fairly easy to use um, I'll actually put a link up to that um, I think it's like the ultimate ebook uh, formatter or something I don't remember the exact name of it but I'll put a link up to it um, so you guys check it out but I highly recommend it ebooks um, doing the cover there's something I use it's uh, called a uh, uh, Kindle Renegade, I believe. Um, create uh, ebook covers for that. Uh, that one is fairly cheap. Um, like I said, you know, I use it. Let other people, let my employees use it as well. Um, then I can also do uh, um, whatever. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, the editor thing, the photo editor. I don't remember what it's called. So if anybody remembers put it in the comment section below uh, probably remember after this video but anyway uh, if you have any questions on anything I've talked about you know please comment below if you want to see the formatter that I use you know I'll put a link up to it in the in the bottom of this video in the description I'll also put a link up to uh, the Kindle Renegade or uh, I believe that's what it's called but as far as how you can make uh, simple ebook covers it's fairly cheap um, if you're making a lot of ebooks, it's definitely worth it. So put a link up to that as well. And also, if you guys haven't checked out Kindle Money Mastery, I highly recommend I'll put a link up to that as well. 
Um, it's a great course. I have a lot of clients that I put through it. Um, they come back to me and they love it. You know, they're they learned a lot. They know what steps to take. They can pretty much just get going without even talking to me after reading that course. But they always come back, talk to me, we get them going, and uh, within about 30 to 45 days, um, they usually have uh, two to five ebooks up. I try to get one one done a week. Um, is my goal for all my clients one done a week? But two to five, and uh, yeah. So again, if you have any questions, comment below. If you want to be a client, comment. Uh, I'll try to get a hold of you. Um, have a few spots available right now, so. Uh, let me know about that as well. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, click that button right there. Become one today, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Right, you guys take care.